In this screencast, I want to show you how you can overlay different types of plots in MATLAB, how to create legends, and various special plotting techniques. Suppose I would like to create a bar plot of the x, y values that I have, and I'll pass the uh, results of this block plot to a graphics handle h, and this will become, become handy later. Okay, so I hear my bar plot. Now suppose I would like to superimpose another type of plot, and it doesn't have to be a bar plot, it could be a scatter plot or some, some line plot created using the basic plot command. Now to hold on to the current plot, I use the hold on command, otherwise uh, my bar plot will disappear. Now let's say that I have a, another plot that would like to superimpose with the x, y2 values, and I pass the results of this plot to the handle h2 see how we've created a line plot and a bar plot in the same plot. I don't like the appearance of this particular line plot, so I can use the uh, handle h2 to, to change some things, or I can use another syntax of plot command by passing some extra commands like line width, I'll make it thicker to a line width 4, I change the marker size to size 10, and now things will look a little better. Now suppose I would like to create a legend uh, for these two different uh, plots. I can use the legend command. One way to call the legend command is by starting with a series of handles to the plots I want to reference in the legend. So I have h that refers to the bar plot, I have h2 that refers to the line plot, and then you have a cell array of strings uh, with the uh, legend strings that you would like to use, condition 1, condition 2, or whatever it is. Uh, uh, that you want to name it. Now one important thing to realize, I could also just call the legend with just a series of strings, and then you create a legend for all the different types of graphic elements uh, in the axis window, but sometimes you want to plot things and not necessarily have a corresponding legend entry. And this is where graphics handles are useful. Uh, here I can specify exactly which uh, legend elements correspond to which plots uh, or types of plots in the uh, axis. There are a number of useful special plots that you can create in MATLAB. One is the scatter command to create scatter plots. So suppose I have values x1, i1, y1, and I want to have these dots at size 10 in color red. Now I'll create a simple scatter plot uh, like this, displaying the values x1 versus y1. Again, I can combine different kinds of plots. I suppose I have another x1, y2 series that I would like to plot and overlay it in a different color. And uh, you can create nice looking uh, scatter plots. You could do something similar using the plot command, uh, but scatterplot is a little bit uh, nicer because you can also control the, uh, the size, the sizes of the individual dots, as well as the colors. So you can create the standard bar plot using bar of y, but you can also organize your bars horizontally by using the bar h command as follows. Now this is useful if your labels your vertical tick labels uh, are text instead of numbers. And you can actually change the uh, anything you want in MATLAB using graphics handles. So I can change the tick mark labels as follows. I can say set uh, of the GCA, the current uh, graphics uh, axis. I change the property Y tick label and now I can uh, change it to the labels, let's say A through E. I can enter any strings in a cell array and note I have the tick mark labels change from A through E. I can also change the order of the uh, labels. I can change the, by changing the Y dear property and I can set that to reverse. See, and now I or 
have the bars organized in the opposite way, uh, starting at the top uh, and ending at the bottom. Another useful command is the area command. Suppose I have a matrix Y, and these consist of measurements uh, of different variables, and the area command is useful if things sum up to a constant number, like percentages always sum up to 100, or proportions sum up to 1. And now I can visualize the contents of this matrix Y. And now uh, note that the results are organized by column. So I have 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.8. That corresponds to this uh, result here, 0.4. I have 0.2, and I have 0.8. 8 over here, and then each color corresponds to a different column of this matrix Y. Another useful command is the image SC command. This is useful if you want to create heat maps, if your data is organized in a grid, and you have uh, the data organized in along the X direction, Y direction, and you want to plot the Z values uh, using colors. So suppose I have this uh, matrix A that contains my values that I would like to plot. I can use the image SC uh, command to plot a heat map of this matrix A. And initially, MATLAB uses colors uh, that don't make a whole lot of sense. I can change the color map to something more sensible, to grays. And to know uh, what these colors, uh, how these colors are mapped to uh, the values of the matrix A, I can add a little color bar as follows. And now I can interpret this uh, heat map. So the value 7 is mapped to the color white, and the lowest, uh, the darkest values are mapped, correspond to the value 1. 